A very powerful storm system is set to impact the United States over the next few days, and this will bring multiple rounds of significant severe weather, including damaging winds, very large hail, and strong tornadoes. So in today's forecast, we are going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next seven days. And we'll begin with what's happening across the country today, which for now, it is looking somewhat quiet. We have a weakening upper level low that has been moving across the Ohio Valley and Northeast. This thing brought a ton of rain fall to the southeast over the last few days but is finally weakening and will be moving out over the next 24 hours but unfortunately we have a much more significant storm system that is currently forming back over in the Rockies and it is right now a broad area of low pressure but we do expect that this will intensify later today and then this will bring a threat for significant severe weather tonight tomorrow and Friday across the United States now let's talk more about the severe weather potential for the next few days and it'll begin with Wednesday which we right now have a slight risk of severe weather in place across parts of the northern and central plains and a little marginal threat as well back along the east coast. Our main concerns for today will be damaging winds and large to very large hail. The main corridor for this risk will be across central Nebraska, but keep in mind that we also could see a few tornadoes this afternoon and evening. It'll be mainly a threat though between about 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. across central Nebraska, so make sure that you're staying weather aware and having multiple ways to receive alerts. There is a chance that we go live later today today, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified if we do go live. Now, as we go into Thursday, which is tossing trampolines on Tall Trees Thursday, we do have a much more elevated risk of severe weather across parts of the Midwest and the Ohio Valley, where the Storm Prediction Center has introduced an enhanced risk of severe weather, which is a level 3 out of 5 risk, which includes almost all of Wisconsin, southwestern Michigan, and northern Indiana, and then we also have a slight risk that bows back over into areas like Missouri, southern Illinois, and northern Kentucky. So our main concerns for Thursday will be damaging winds and large to very large hail, and there even could be some instances of hail that exceeds three inches in diameter. So make sure you're protecting your vehicle, and what makes this storm system particularly dangerous for those in the Midwest, especially in Wisconsin, is that there will be high winds, I think, across a large chunk of the state tomorrow afternoon and evening, which could knock down trees. So you definitely want to make sure if you're in Wisconsin, or really anywhere in the general risk in general, you're going to want to make sure that you're staying weather aware and having multiple ways to receive warnings, especially with how many trees could easily fall down from the high winds. And then our tornado threat has also increased. The Storm Prediction Center has introduced a 10% hatched tornado risk across much of central Wisconsin, near Wausau and also Eau Claire, back into Milwaukee, where we could have a couple of strong tornadoes. But even outside of this area, there is also a threat for tornadoes, anywhere from North Dakota, South Dakota, and Minnesota, all the way back into the Mississippi River Valley, where there will be a threat for a few tornadoes, and I would not really rule out an isolated strong tornado outside of this region. And if confidence increases, they actually could increase the area where strong tornadoes are possible, which even could go as far south as Indianapolis and even as far east as the Kalamazoo area of Michigan. And then on Friday, you might think this doesn't look too concerning, but there is a chance that we do see an elevated risk of severe weather on Friday as well, and we may even see a severe weather outbreak of sorts. Right now, the Storm Prediction Center has remained conservative in their forecast, with a level 2 out of 5 slight risk of severe weather across the Ohio Valley and mid-Mississippi River Valley, where the greatest risk of severe weather should reside. But I do think in future outlooks, if we end up seeing storms push back more to the afternoon and we don't have a whole lot of convection in the morning, we could easily see an outbreak of severe weather with all the wind shear and instability that'll be in place. I think our greatest risk of severe weather will be mainly in this corridor, so in the mid-Mississippi River Valley, where significant damaging winds, large to very large hail, and a potential even for strong tornadoes would be a possibility. And then eventually, as we go into Saturday, I think our risk of severe weather is going to be mainly across this region with isolated hail and wind from Texas back to the East Coast, and then the Storm Prediction Center for Sunday and Monday have already outlined at least a slight risk of severe weather in the area that we at least have the greatest confidence of there being some level of severe weather on Sunday, and then as we go into Monday, the Storm Prediction Center continues to show at least a slight risk of severe weather in parts of the Central and Southern Plains, but I do want to point out again that they've been very conservative with their forecasts here for the severe weather outlook. And I think almost every single day has the potential for some level of a severe weather outbreak all beginning Thursday, rolling all the way through the weekend. I think Saturday might be a bit of a transition day. And then early next week, another storm system moves over the Rockies and we could easily have severe weather or tornado outbreaks here across the central and southern plains. So definitely make sure that you're staying weather aware and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. And before we go into more specific details about the severe weather threat, I do want to point out that this is a machine learning tool that basically shows SPC outlooks, which has been 
been very accurate, by the way, over the last several months. And this is for Friday, which right now we have that large slight risk of severe weather in place. But notice how the machine learning tool actually shows more of an enhanced to even moderate risk of severe weather. But it is going to be highly contingent on there not really being any convection during the morning and allowing for daylight heating to take over. And then if that happens, we could easily see a bunch of discrete supercells form in the afternoon, which would eventually become a line of storms with significant damaging winds and tornadoes being a possibility. So on Friday, definitely make sure that you are staying weather aware. And I do think that there's a fairly high likelihood that we'll have an enhanced risk either by later today or tomorrow for this area. Now let's go more into detail about our severe weather potential for the next few days, beginning with what's happening today. So we do have an area that we're watching for for an elevated tornado threat, mainly around 6 to 11 p.m. Notice this area here across central Nebraska where we're going to have a boundary moving to the east and also a lot of wind shear starting to increase just to the south of our low pressure system. And this should allow for the potential for an isolated tornado or two. It's going to be a short window and it's going to be highly contingent on there being discrete supercells, which I do think there will be a couple out there, which should lead to at least an isolated tornado or two across central Nebraska. With this type of environment, I wouldn't honestly rule out a strong tornado either, so definitely make sure that you're staying weather aware across central Nebraska this evening. So here's the timing for today across the central and northern plains. Plenty of storms already out there. These will be mostly elevated storms producing large hail and damaging winds. But by early this evening, notice how we'll end up seeing maybe a discrete supercell or two firing off just out in front of this area of storm activity, which again, all these storms are mostly elevated. So the tornado threat will be low. This is the main corridor to watch for for more of a tornado risk sometime between 6 and 11 o'clock tonight. And then eventually by around midnight or so, this is all mostly a line of thunderstorms across South Dakota and Nebraska, where we'll be watching for significant damaging winds in an isolated tornado or two. And then by the early morning hours tomorrow, this line is going to be pushing towards the Twin Cities, where there could be some damaging winds and a low tornado risk as we go into the morning hours tomorrow. This is by 9 to 10 o'clock, so some elevated storms will move through there. Then storms will refire as we go into the early afternoon hours on Thursday across parts of Minnesota and Iowa, which directly leads right into our risk of severe weather on Thursday. So talking more about Thursday setup, this is our jet stream as we go into late Thursday and into Friday. And notice how we have an intense low pressure system across Minnesota. In addition to that, strong southwesterly flow will help to amplify our threat for not just a tornado risk, but also significant damaging winds. So definitely stay weather aware here in the Midwest. And this storm system will stay strong even into Friday, where a very strong westerly and southwesterly flow will also be in place across the Ohio Valley, which should lead to the potential for a severe severe weather outbreak on Thursday and possibly even into Friday. So here's our significant tornado parameter values, and this gives us an indication of what our tornado threat might end up looking like and where it'll be most significant as we go into Thursday. And this is what it looks like as we go into the early afternoon on Thursday. Pretty large area that we're watching for for an elevated area of wind shear, mainly from around the Twin Cities back into central Wisconsin and even across parts of the Ohio Valley. Here's the thing. I do think we're going to see plenty of storms firing off across Wisconsin and Minnesota and perhaps even northern Illinois. Even though our environment is very favorable in Indiana and central and southern Illinois, there is likely going to be a cap in place most of the day. And if this is not overcome, I do not think we're going to be seeing a whole lot of a tornado risk. But if storms are for some reason able to fire in this environment, we could be talking about all hazards of severe weather, and it could easily be a significant day of severe weather. So definitely make sure that you're staying weather aware, even if you're further south of Chicago, because I do think there's a threat for significant severe weather there. Right around 6 to 7 o'clock, our STP values stay fairly high here across the board, indicating that we'll have a much more significant tornado threat, especially in Wisconsin. Notice how the values are even higher back over in Illinois and Indiana, but as I just mentioned, there is going to be a cap in place that could easily prevent storms from firing. This threat of tornadoes will stay elevated probably until about 11 o'clock central time or so before eventually it starts to go down as we go into the overnight hours on Thursday into Friday morning. So here's what the timing looks like. We'll be talking about just some scattered showers and storms out there during the morning. Nothing really severe other than what's happening back over over in the Twin Cities. Just after lunchtime, that is when storms will begin to fire near our low pressure system back over near the Twin Cities, where damaging winds, large hail, and a tornado or two will be a possibility, starting as early as 1 to 2 o'clock. And then by about 4 p.m., that's when things will be getting really dicey across Wisconsin and Minnesota, where we'll basically have scattered to numerous severe storms across this entire area with significant damaging winds, very large hail, and a couple of strong tornadoes being a possibility. So right around 4 to 5 o'clock, get ready if you're over at Wasp saw or even back over near Milwaukee by around six to seven o'clock because there will be plenty of storms out there producing all hazards of severe weather by around seven o'clock or so there could be a couple storms that try to fire in and around the Chicago area and again if a storm does fire just to your west or even right over top of you we could also be talking about all
all hazards of severe weather right around rush hour. And then by around 8 to 9 o'clock, these storms are moving over the Great Lakes. We'll have a couple of storms perhaps trying to fire back over in Indiana, but that's a conditional chance of happening. And then maybe a discrete supercell or two moving into Michigan. And if that happens, we could also be talking about a strong tornado threat even back over near Kalamazoo. And then by around 10 to 11 o'clock, these storms will begin to weaken quite a bit as they move across Michigan and also across parts of Ohio and Indiana with just some scattered damaging winds and a low tornado risk existing past about 10 o'clock tomorrow evening. And then things will start to clear out as we go into Friday morning. And then as we go into Friday, our risk of severe weather will shift further south across the Ohio Valley. During the morning hours, there could be some elevated storms out there with mainly an isolated hail and wind risk, very low tornado risk across the board. Just after lunchtime is when there could be a really significant threat of damaging winds, hail and tornadoes developing across parts of Missouri and as well as central and southern Illinois, where all hazards of severe weather would be in play. This particular computer model is not really indicating much of any convection during the morning. And if we don't really see anything firing in the morning hours across the Ohio Valley, I do think there will be a severe weather outbreak on Friday. Right now, the HRW model is indicating a widespread area of severe storms anywhere from southwest Missouri around Joplin, even back up towards Chicago, where damaging winds would be the main concern. But any discrete supercells in this environment could produce strong or even long track tornadoes. Eventually, by around six to seven o'clock, we'll be probably talking about a very large area of thunderstorm activity, even as far south and west as even Dallas and Fort Worth. So definitely make sure that you're staying weather aware. There are still some uncertain details right now with what's going to be happening on Friday across the Ohio Valley. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. We'll have a lot more of a detailed forecast tomorrow morning talking all about what you can expect on Friday. But just know that Friday is likely going to be a very significant day of severe weather if we do not have that much morning convection with how many ingredients are in place here across the Ohio Valley. And then beyond this week, we are expecting that this storm system will weaken as it moves over the Great Lakes on Saturday, but there could still be some scattered severe weather from Texas back into the Dixie Alley on Saturday with hail, wind, and an isolated tornado being possible. But really, our next big concern will be as we go into Sunday, another large storm system and a strong storm system will be forming over the Rockies, and this is expected to bring another significant round of severe weather as we go into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Right now on Sunday, we're expecting scattered, potentially even numerous severe weather across Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Missouri, where damaging winds, hail, and tornadoes would be possible. And then on Monday, the storm system will be a little bit further off to the west again, and it should allow for another significant day of severe weather. This will depend a little bit more on if there's a cap in place, which means a temperature inversion in the atmosphere that could prevent storms from firing. If we have a cap in place, the threat of severe weather would definitely be limited, but I think for right now, there is likely going to at least be some scattered severe weather across parts of Kansas, Missouri, maybe even Oklahoma and Texas during the evening hours on Monday and even into the overnight hours. And then by Tuesday, the storm system will eventually move more towards the Midwest and notice how the GFS model is indicating potentially a significant round of severe weather again across parts of the Midwest as we go into Tuesday, anywhere from Missouri and Illinois back into Wisconsin and Minnesota and all hazards of severe weather would once again be on the table on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, the storm will be moving towards the Northeast where scattered severe weather will continue. And then I think we are quieting down a little bit as we go into Thursday and Friday, but I don't really think we're done with severe weather anytime soon. The weather pattern looks very, very active even into the end of May. Even if we have high pressure dominating across much of the United States, which right now the GFS model is showing that as we go into late next week, if we have a high pressure system in place, it will not fully limit our severe weather. What could actually end up happening is that we get a bunch of mesoscale days again back over in the central and southern plains, which could lead to all hazards of severe weather for an extended period of time. So definitely make sure that you're staying weather aware, have multiple ways to receive alerts. Once again, there is a chance that we go live tonight, but if we're not live tonight, we will be live tomorrow with in-depth severe weather coverage with a bunch of storm chasers on the ground across parts of the Midwest and as well as back through the Ohio Valley. And also, we will have another video forecast tomorrow morning, bright and early. We're going to have a video talking all about our severe weather threat way more in detail about both Thursday and Friday and as well as as we go into the weekend with any major changes to the forecast. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified with the latest updates. And also don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Max Velocity WX for more rapid fire weather updates. And you can join our Discord server. Link is down below.